Hi, my name is Hume. To kick off my personal power series, I want to talk about personal branding. I talk a lot about branding. Every single time I open my mouth, the word branding comes out. But I'm a branding specialist. I work a lot with clients who want to reinvent themselves and to position themselves differently or better in their career and in their industries. I'm also a professor of public relations and in our business we talk a lot about branding and about image, the brands of people, uh, corporate brands and even nation brands, the brands of cities and nation states. So today I want to talk to you about personal branding. What is personal branding and why is the image you project so vital to your personal power and success? There are three aspects of personal branding that I'll talk about, and they're all different elements of the same idea. Number one, your brand is what people say about you when you leave the room. Now, this is what the founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos says, and I love, love, love this um, idea of personal branding. He says, your brand is what people say about you when you leave the room. And I'm not talking about gossip and the haters and people say, oh, she's all that. I'm not talking about that. I am talking about what are your colleagues are saying about you when you leave the room. What, what are your employers saying about you when you leave the room? What do your clients believe you to be? And this is what you need to be finding out because this is golden. This is the richest thing that you can do to tap into how you're coming across to people. LinkedIn, for example, have a testimonial section where you can ask your colleagues and your former bosses for, for testimonials. And I think you should go ahead and do that and find out what people think about you. For me, when I was looking at my own personal brand, I texted my friends from all over the world and I asked them, tell me a few things that, what comes to mind when you think about me? And I said, tell me something immediate. Don't think about it. What immediately comes to mind? And they said all sorts of wonderful things. One friend said, I am majestic now. I really don't know what she means by that. And I haven't written that one down. But the others were valuable information that I used to craft my own brand. So your personal brand is really how you come across to others. So dig in. That's your homework for those of you at home. Dig in. Ask people. Find out what your clients, what your colleagues, what your friends uh, thinking about you and use that to come up with an idea of how you may be coming across to people. Number two, personal branding is the image that you project to others. It's how you choose to present yourself to the world. So it's really about discovering your unique qualities, your distinctiveness. What is that specific thing that you bring to the table that differentiates you from others? And I know what you're thinking that, oh, you don't have anything, but yes, everyone has specific, unique qualities that they can bring to the table. And it's about uncovering and discovering. It's an excavation project. It's finding out your values, what are your abilities, your talents, your competencies, and your assets that make you unique. So dig in again, find out what is unique about you, and then it is your job to present that uh, to the world. And the third aspect of branding, which I would like you to consider is, it's even more important than image and and, and more important than experience or the skills that you have or how popular you are and how many followers you have on social media. And it is this, can you deliver? Are you punctual? Are you, are you professional? Are you reliable? And I have had occasions where I have known people who are extremely competent and experienced in what they do. And I've had to overlook them when I want a professional to do a particular job for me because I don't find them to be very professional. I don't find them to be punctual. I don't find them to be reliable. And so I would prefer to deal with someone who is more professional. So do consider uh, whether you can bring 
to the table what you claim to be. For example, if you say you are a writer, and I say to you, okay, so can you send me a couple, a couple of your writing? Do you have a blog? And you tell me no, then, well, <laughs> you're not coming across as very credible. So you need to be evidencing your personal brand. So being popular is not the same as having a personal brand which is respected and admired. And that is where you want to be. And finally, I sum up by saying that personal branding is really about taking control of your public image, the image you present on paper, in person, and the image you're projecting on the internet. Uh, personal branding is more though. You are the storyteller of your own life, as a famous novelist um, says. You can create your own legend by telling really positive, admirable stories about yourself and really through action. So discovering your personal brand is a true pathway to achieving success and personal power. Thank you so much for watching. I am Hume Johnson. For more information on my training programs on speaking and personal branding, please write to me at Hume Johnson, H-U-M-E Johnson at gmail.com and subscribe to my YouTube channel and the information is right there. See you next time.